Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. He's a level three whiskey sommelier. This is a whiskey. Yep. I am a. You don't know what it is. I'll someday I'll figure out what level of whiskey mooch I am. You're in limbo. I'm in limbo. Yeah. So I'm here's, whiskey limbo. <clears throat> here's the thing. Yep. I just gonna, I'm gonna just gonna help you out. Hmm? I'm just gonna help you out. Yeah. It's not a space side. Shut your face. <laughs> it's got to be a space side. <laughs> 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 you keep pouring me sweet scotches, <laughs> and they're not space sides. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a space side. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Okay, what do we have? We've got the, uh, so it's a scotch. Wait, hold on. Yes. Do no, you want no, me to no. answer you each time? No, no, no. Okay. No, don't. Well, now you did, but because the green apple is making me think it's an unbuttery Irish. And you're saying it's not a space side. <clears throat> nope. It is a sweet scotch, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's a sweet scotch. It's fruity. It's floral on the nose. There's I got more to it than that. There's, no, there is. There is there's something back there in the there, nose. There is. There's a smokiness, but the predominant nose is sweetness. There's something in the nose that will give you a directional. It, no, there's some, directionality. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm starting with prominent notes. Yeah. Well, your it's mouth. It's no sweeter than. I'm educating you. It's no sweeter than any other scotch. Shut your face. On the nose here? Yeah. Have you been, like. I get that same sweetness in any kind of thing that has barrel. Have you been bludgeoned? Caramel. Recently. Yes. Upside the head. <laughs> bludgeoned. Bludgeonings galore. Blunt force trauma. Because I'm getting this. Until uh, morale improves. This dense fruitiness. I'm going to get to the smoky bits now. Under the dense fruitiness. You have, it's not an oily, meaty, savory peat, but there's a smoky bit in there. Mm-hmm. And it's more like a, like a dry smoke. Yeah, it's a little more the direction of I phenol would, and rubber heavy. Yeah, dry, and if, if it's not savory, the argument could be made that it's a little bit earthy in the peatiness, mm -hmm. but not super, super earthy. I'm going to taste. Okay. Yeah. Now on the taste, that's where you get most of the smokiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the all the the fruity, sweeter elements take a back seat. They're still there. Um, it's more honey than fruitiness now on the taste. But on top of all that is the smoky element, the dry smoke, a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of uh, ash even. And you said rubber. Ah, uh, kinda. <clears throat> all right. What do we do? Do your thing there. Do your words. You say words now. <laughs> okay. So. This is Buna Haben. No. This is. No, it's way too phenol this rubber is, note. This is. What's the one category of the five regions this is, that this seems is, to lead with those rubbery, this is dark. This is brooklotic. Metallic notes. This it's is, not Isla. This is. It's not Isla. Is it Highland? Campbelltown. Campbelltown. Campbelltown this is where Springbank is from. This is the least aggressive Campbelltown. Yeah. I've ever well, had. no, that's well. Maybe that no. It's, What's another? No, Campbelltown? there are other ones you've had that are way less aggressive, like Hazelburn, which is Springbank's whiskey that's unpeated completely. My memory of Hazelburn is totally at odds with what you're saying. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get it. So this is uh, Kilcarran. I've never even heard it's of Kilcarran. It's the Glengyle Distillery. I've never heard being of Being re, uh, released as Kilcarran. Now, why did they re release this Kilcarran, even though it's actually coming from the Glengyle Distillery? Right. Because they no longer own the name Glengyle. <laughs> Whoops. They, uh, did they not renew the, the domain name? Yeah, the Glengyle Distillery has gone for 100 plus, hundreds of years. Name has gone that. through ownership and family squabbles and right. bankrupt, almost bankruptcy, and then got shuttered and sat there and then rebuilt. And, and in the meantime, the name was sold off to a blending company. So there's a blended scotch called the Glengyle, you right. know. Um, so they lost the name. Yeah, Mitchell's Glengyle. Mitchell, if I'm, uh, yeah, anyway. You just set the, they lost the name. Set the domain to auto renew. And yeah, but then they decided, no, they sold the name. They didn't lose it. They taps, sold it. Taps that credit card once every yeah. two years. And then what happened was they decided to re use, rebuild and reuse that distillery, the Glengyle. And so they switched to Kilcarran. Now, wait, did you put those back? So this is the one, right? That's, that the, one just you, that's the one you just put. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? That's see how much a, lighter and prettier? That's not a Campbelltown. That's a Campbelltown. Space side. <sighs> <sighs> that Campbelltown is just, uh, man, it's like a really creamy honey. 
once again regionally, they don't stay true to form. Never listen to me anymore. No, it's that it's that slightly rubber metallic note that is dominant in the Springbanks. Um, and this reminds me of Springbank because it's a Campbelltown that Sherry Cast finished, much like the Springbank releases can be. Okay, so my memory of Springbank is the PD note in here. In Springbank, it's much, much more dumb. Yeah, it's times a hundred. In this, it's nicely balanced with some sweet elements. Yeah, I agree. Okay. But it's there, and it's it's a unique thing in the Scotch world. Right. That combination of that fruity sherry and that kind of heavy uh, rubber metallic note. So how many regions are there? Because there's there's five slash let me see if I can six. Get, let me see if I can get it. I'll see how many I can get. Uh, Speyside. <laughs> Isla. Yeah. Campbelltown, uh -huh. uh, Islands, uh, not, Lowlands, Lowlands, yes, not Islands, Highland, Highlands, sometimes Islands. It's like sometimes A E I, I O U, sometimes Y. So I got, I yeah. got everything. Yeah. Now some maps will consider Islands to be their own region, but generally they're wrapped into the Highlands on a map. Wow. So that's really nice. Uh, the nose doesn't lead you to believe there's nearly as much peat in here as the taste delivers. If you're comparing to Hazelburn, For me. this Kilcarran is actually a little more peppery, but also a little more uh, balanced sweetness. The Hazelburn is a denser sweetness, mm. but no pepper at all. It's a creamy honey for me. Yeah. Creamy honey and then a little bitter finish. Yep. So if all you knew of Campbelltown was Springbank, the, uh, the New World opens up to you with, with Kilcarran. So and with Hazelburn. Does Campbelltown have regionally, this is what you're going to get? Well, in theory, it's cl that sort of phenol-heavy, rubbery tinge to things. Okay. I, t I find it in a lot of the Campbelltown releases. How many Campbelltown are there? Because you don't... There's only, like, three. So, so you've only got... So. Spring Bank is, but there's six bottlings. Most so. of the three distillery. Yeah, but not so... So Spring Bank has, is releasing Hazelburn, Spring Bank... And uh, Long Grow. Okay. And then Glengyle is releasing Kilcarran. Yeah. And then you've got, ah, uh, what's the other one? Glen Scotia. And uh, yeah, I think that's the only four that you can really get these days. So on the, man, coming back to this just on the nose, I get mm -hmm. like a nice, some kind of tea. To the Hazelburn? Yeah, no, I'm smelling the Hazelburn mm -hmm. after taking a sip of that. And I get... One of those really flavorful teas, but it's not a sweet, fruity tea. You know, the sherry in the nose was not really jumping out at me until I let this whiskey sit for a little bit. You let it sit, get some air, now it kind of comes alive a little bit. Tips to warm you magnificent bastard! <laughs> yep, that was a gift from Tim Storm. Because he's a good name. Yep, so and know. also, uh, who built the third floor of the tower. Oh yeah? Tim Storm, you tower builder. Tower builder. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want some questions? I got questions. Sure. Are bring you on, done? Bring are on you, a couple of questions. Are you done with the background? I'm looking for any interesting stories. Uh, okay, we got, uh, we got Bobby Parnell. What would you say is the closest scotch or even bourbon in terms of flavor profile to Balcona's single malt? Yeah. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not coming up with anything else that is that caramel heavy without being notice noticeably candle sweet, candy sweet. It's yeah. kind of a unique deal. Uh, I've 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 looked. <laughs> I've looked to try to find the closest I have come right. is some of the northwestern whiskeys like Westland okay. or Westward. Oh. They sort of head into the same direction. Right. But I've not found any distillery in the U.S. that comes close to that unique Balcones flavor profile. So, and I'm not finding anything outside of the U.S. that comes close so to that. I, I think it was uh, Jared that was here. Mm -hmm. He brought the rum they did. Yeah, the rumble. The, it's not really a rum. Well, what, uh, well they, have, they do have a rum. Yes. Okay. They brought the rum, not the it's rum. It's like, oh, it tastes like Balcones. Yeah, it's like, oh, your, your rum, this is a Balcones rum. So yeah. whatever process, whatever, you know, equipment and, uh, and, and, and steps that they're taking, they're, they're, what's the word? Consistent. Yeah. Yeah, they found their wheelhouse and they're hitting it. Even they're when like, they do something with They're it. like the Daniel and Waugh of distilleries. This is a music guy. Every, everything they touch, 
it sounds like Daniel and Wah touched it. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. right. one of those producers. Yeah. Where it's like you can like T Bone Burnett. Yeah. It's like you can tell T Bone produced this album. <laughs> you know what I mean? Paul Maskey. So I live in Kentucky. I drink bourbon. I love it. I drink strong cask strength and barrel proof bourbons. But, okay. But for some reason, I don't really like scotch. Okay. I've tried to. to like scotch. I want to like scotch, but I just don't. Well, if you want to. I've tried uh, the original uh, Glenmore NG, Lagavulin 16, and Johnny Walker Black, and I'm just not into it. Dude, you've tried like 1 50th of kind the kinds of flavors you can get out of scotch. So I have a suggestion, but you guys can all chime in too. You ready? Yeah. I've, I thought this was psychosomatic when I first suggested it. But I've had now a, a half dozen bourbon drinkers I know right. come to me without any prior discussion and say, I found this scotch that really, finally, I actually like, really like. Okay. The Glenfiddich 14 Bourbon Cask Reserve, Bourbon Barrel Reserve. So Glenfiddich is very easily found, but mm -hmm. is this bourbon yeah, cask? Thing? Absolutely. Yeah? It's one of their new rele standard releases these days. Okay. And it's a bourbon, it's bourbon cask only. Mm -hmm. And I've had a, a lot of bourbon drink, and I remember when I suggested I thought, well, of course I'm suggesting it because it says bourbon barrel on the bottle. Right. But no, I've had a lot of bourbon drinkers say, yeah, that's a good... No, he likes high-proof whiskeys. What's the, yeah. what's, what's the proof one? Oh, it's not high-proof. It's 43. But it's got the, the character that that you don't need to worry about the proof at first. Dip it a toe. I like this. Anyway, that works, I, I think. I like this Kill Karen. Mm -hmm. It's not blowing my c*** off, but it's pretty, pretty it's damn tasty. good. It's tasty. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tasty. damn good. I like and it's it. different. It is. I like that it's different. It's its own unique territory. It's 40, 46% there. Yeah. All right, I have barely enough. Yeah. Uh, Here, you take the hazel burn. Well, I'll take, I'll take some of that, too. I'll nope. take, nope. I'll take some of, nope. no. some uh, of check this. No, wait. That didn't work out. <laughs> I reached for the empty glass to try to wait. I'll take this one, then. Wait a minute. Now, give me mine back, because I don't want your cuties. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight me, you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you, you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.